or at Techies is episode 9 of the Java Discord Bot tutorial series and in this episode we are going to be going over the mute command. Now before we do this we actually need to go over a quick um, structure for roles. So if I go into the edit part of the roles, if you go over to your roles, to actually do uh, the mute command we're going to have to have a muted role that has um, the ability to send messages turned off. Now to do this, at everyone the default has to have all that send mess mainly the send messages permission turned off. But for the mainly what I prefer to do is turn everything off. And then in our default role, which we can add by just having whenever someone joins the server, we have uh, on the for the on um, join command not command event we can just give them the role. We have default default role that has all the role, all the permissions we're going to want them to have, so for example sending messages, adding reactions, that sort of stuff. Now the muted role has all the permissions we want them to have there muted but turned off if we don't want them to have it, for example send messages, I've got it so that they can read messages, They can. I've got it so this can still connect but they can't speak and they can't video and all that kind of stuff. So set up your roles how you want them, remember to turn at everyone off, you have to make sure you turn uh, send messages off for at everyone because because if you have it turned on in one role it overrides it being turned off in another role so now we've got that out of the way the way we're going to do this is we are going to go into our mute command I've got a mute command set up we used it last episode for the um, checking if they have a role so I'm going to make it so they have to have the staff role to execute the command so I'm going to keep this code here, but I'm just going to get rid of this line that says muting user, but we're actually going to mute the user. So we need to obviously have an option, so I'm just going to create a quick list of option data. That's, that's what this returns. I'm just going to options equals new, array list. And so in here we're going to add our new option data, and this is going to take an option type of mentionable. Because we're mention we're going to put in the person that we want. In fact, no, we don't want mention We want user. Uh, so we're going to take in the user that we want to uh, mute. So apart from that, after that, we just take muted. So I'm just going to call it muted, and call it the the user to mute. And obviously, we want this to be required. And then here we can just return options. So now the command actually takes in the person we want to mute. So what we can do in the execute is we can get, firstly, we can get this person. So we can do um, we can do the event dot get option, and we can take in muted. And I'm just going to get as member, and I'm going to turn that into a variable. So we've just got a member muted member. And then we can do muted member dot, uh, and we can add. We need to add the role, so we can do guild dot add role to member. Oh, no, we need to in fact we need to remove that role. So I'm going to make a couple of role variables. I'm going to do role. Uh, so this is going to be called mute role equals guild dot get role by ID. And obviously you can get these in a different way if you want to do it differently for your bot for your server. For now, just make it simpler. I'm just going to copy. The ID, so I'm going to copy the ID of the mute, and you should know how to do this from previous tutorials. So I'm going to get the mute role, and then I'm also going to get the default. So this is going to be the role that everyone's going to have. Now, uh, this needs to have they you also need to get rid of any other role that they're going to have that's going to get rid of um, the it's going to get we're going to make them out to send messages otherwise so let's say they have the staff for some reason you want to meet your staff member uh, if they have the staff on then they're going to be able to send messages because staff is going to have send messages obviously so i'm going to copy the default role so for now obviously you're just going to be muting people that have default role um but then i'm going to do put that in there and then now i can do guild Dot remove. I'm going to first remove the role from member. It's going to be default role. Uh, no, sorry, it takes a muted member first. So muted member and default role. And then to queue that, 
and then we need to do guild dot add role to member, and then this is going to be uh, muted member again and mute role, and we need to queue this. So now hopefully we should be able to mute somebody. So I'm going to be muting my alt account. So one thing I just realised I forgot to mention we need to obviously reply to the event. So I've just replied with muted member. So if I go on to here, I'm on my alt account currently. I can say anything, uh, and then if we hop over onto my main account, we should see that I should be able to do a slash mute. If I mute my alt account, I should say muted member, and we'll see that it's switched to have the muted account, the muted role rather than the default one. And then we can switch back to my alt account, and you'll see that we can do. We can't. We can't send anything. We don't have. We don't have permission to do that. And if I go to general, we'll see that I cannot speak. I. I can't un unmute. Um, obviously, I can hear. I can hear if someone else joins, but I can't do that. Now, the only problem is now is how do we unmute this account? Well, we need to make an unmute a command, so we can just create a, that is not the right thing, we can create a new class, I'm going to call this unmute, and obviously this is going to implement I command, or however you're doing your um, command manager, so this is going to be unmute, and this is going to be, well, we'll unmute a user, and then obviously get options we need to do, but we can just copy that from here. We can just copy that because it's the same thing. It's going to be the muted user, the user to mute. So in execute, uh, I'm going to copy this code because it's relatively the same. So we're going to get the, we're going to check to see if they have the correct role. And then we're going to get the muted member. We're going to get both the mute and default role. But the only difference is, rather than removing the default and added the muted, we are just going to remove the mute, the muted, and add the default. So I'm here on my main. Make sure you remember to actually register the command. Um, and then you can see here I'm still muted on my alt. If I do slash unmute uh, and I pass in my alt then it should turn them back default. That is all we're going to do in this episode. Uh, next episode, we should be doing the ban command. So hopefully I will catch you then.